After retiring from her spare time as a female supporting character known for her role, she was finally released into the modern society of safety and legal system as promised. After lying flat for less than half an hour, a familiar electronic sound suddenly rang in her ear. The system starts binding, with a countdown of 99.98.971.0001. Hello, System 001 is dedicated to serving you. Leisure time, close your eyes and open them, the world changes, and your body also changes. Leisure time. Whoever gets involved this time is the dog. Planning. Isn't it fragrant to sleep in? To endure. Am I unable to wield the knife? Work hard and bear no grudges. Work diligently and conscientiously. Goodbye, never see you again. Leisure once again resounded through the four or nine parts, this time because of her toughness, recklessness, and rashness. Someone. Madam always thinks that I am delicate and weak, so how can I be bullied? Keywords of the novel. After delaying retirement, I won't be able to scroll up without pop-ups. After delaying retirement, I won't be able to scroll up. Download the complete TXT collection. After delaying retirement, I won't be able to scroll up to the latest chapters. Chapter 1. Eyes close and open, the world changes. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 1. Eyes close and open, the world changes, ding, remind me again that you have entered the main storyline. Please receive the memory as soon as possible and read the world plot summary. Ding, the prompt has exceeded 49 times, and the forced mode has been activated. Please prepare the host to accept the memory and world plot summary. Countdown starts at 10.9. Ha! The anger in Yuxian's eyes was burning fiercely, but it still couldn't stop the familiar dizziness and nausea surging in her mind. Scenes appeared and dissipated in her mind like watching lanterns, finally freezing onto a scroll of tens of thousands of words of world sketches. After being forced to sort out the storyline of life and death, Yu Xian sighed. How to say it? Everything is expected. If it were a character soaking in a honey jar, it wouldn't be her turn to appear. In her spare time, she was the second princess of Wang Dingen's mansion with a different surname in Northern Yan, and also the legitimate consort of Prince and of Zhongzhou. Being both a princess and a princess, listening to the grandeur and authority, is actually just a tragic existence that has been played as chess pieces by others from birth to death. Raised by the enemy PUA who killed his father, he was tricked by his first love into sending him to an enemy country for marriage. After losing his husband, he was used as a shield by his first love and became infamous. After losing his dependents, he was charged into the evil court and suffered from a serious illness. In the end, he was killed by three feet of white silk, and a heavy snowfall buried twenty-six years of traces. Ding, confirm that the original owner's memory has been successfully accepted, unlock the original owner's wish. To counterattack and ascend to the back. Ding, confirm that the world plot has been successfully unlocked, unlock the weather map function, and unlock the system backpack. Please check it. Ding, it has been detected that the host's idle time is the first person to delay retirement. The backpack submitted by the host's previous system has been returned in its original form. Please check. Return as is. In my spare time, I took a tight breath and quickly used my mind to click on the confirmation button in the dialog box that popped up in the void. Then, I retrieved my backpack and checked it one by one. Everyone is here. Of course they are all here. This system strictly follows the spirit of the contract and will never deduct the host's inventory. You are questioning the integrity of this system then I have to thank you. Yu Xian rolled his eyes without hesitation. She unbound the system and stayed in her chosen retirement world for only half an hour. Why was he suddenly notified of a delay in retirement? To defend fairness and justice in all worlds. To maintain the happiness and stability of all worlds. In order to build a harmonious and friendly global community, 
the 49th Ministry has decided to launch a postponement system, Speak Human Language. Extremely short of task hosts. You don't know how to hire people. You think we haven't recruited before. I don't know what the new arrivals are all thinking. A sesame-sized brain has no ACD in its heart. It's not that the harem of the big stallion is causing chaos, or that the confident emperor's war almost destroyed the foundation of the small world, and there's also the need to find a sense of existence to play the second female game. I can't even handle the aftermath after stepping on my horse. I have already worked overtime so blame me for being too reliable. But back then, I was diligent, diligent, patient, and worked hard to enjoy a high quality retirement life. Now. Hee <laughs> hee, I feel like there are three big words stuck on my forehead that I used to work hard and roll wildly. Big idiot. Listening to the complaint of Yen Tui 001, Yu Xian expressed. Thank you for inviting me, I am already numb. But at this point, she could only silently recall where the plot had gone. Now that I have just been married for a month, I am sleeping quietly because of my tacit understanding with my newlywed husband. I secretly rejoice that I can keep my first love safe. I received a message from the eldest sister of my original body, saying that my first love, Prince Losu, had moved on to another love and fell in love with a guilty woman from Zhongzhou. She had already taken a concubine and achieved good things. On the day Lo Su took his concubine, her wedding procession had not yet entered the capital city of Zhongzhou. It has only been half a month since Li Lo Su and she swore and swore their entire lives, so they were feeling depressed and seriously ill. The original body, who had been reborn from this serious illness, was full of resentment and was successfully captured by four or nine resentment detectors. Immediately, Personnel were arranged to negotiate and sign a contract with the original body, and the script for her serious illness rebirth became her current soul-piercing mission. Is the original body settled down? With a clear plan in mind, she was able to focus on other things in her spare time. Although she was familiar with the fixed process, she still confirmed it again. Don't worry, I have gone to a world of equality, freedom, stability, and the rule of law. Don't miss those who have money, leisure, and happiness. This sounds a bit familiar. There is a bad premonition. Oh, of course you're familiar with it. It's the retirement world that you've chosen from countless options. I'm also using the body prepared for you, after all, manufacturing has already been done. It's a bit wasteful to just return to the factory like this, you are really thrifty and thrifty. In my spare time, I only feel like my temples are bouncing around. What is this called? Waste utilization. Or do you want to completely cut off her path? Hi, it's generally average after all, the main system has already entered our program with the practice of diligence, frugality, and proper household management. Haha, <laughs> have you ever considered the feeling of me? who was able to enjoy a healthy body and easily live to the age of 99 in the first second, but was forced to move into this person's broken and diseased body, who is said to be able to live beyond 40, the next second. Leisurely, he released his hand pressed on his pulse and took a long breath, saying, Spring Revival Pill. As soon as these words fell, a colorful interface popped up out of thin air. The top five large gold copper coins were arranged in the shape of Olympic rings as the base, highlighting the shining purple light of the two characters, Maul, above, which exuded an extra, money color. The products on the screen were dazzling, but at this moment, without waiting for anyone to look closely, they slid rapidly. After eight or nine seconds, they suddenly stopped, and a small picture was quickly enlarged. At the same time, a familiar promotional electronic sound sounded. Spring revitalization pill, tonifying qi and blood, strengthening the body and health, one enters the throat, giving you life and vitality. Today, don't be 58. Don't 48. As long as 38 points, may I ask if the host has confirmed the purchase of the discounted product it's still a familiar routine, to bypass the shortcomings and talk about the advantages. If you're a beginner, you'll have to be scammed a lot. 
The spring revival pill has the effects of nourishing blood, qi, deficiency, and fatigue, benefiting the body and strengthening muscles and bones. It can even be cured together as long as it is not a serious illness or severe illness, and can be called a divine medicine. But being worthy is only worthy, and its flaw cannot be ignored, which is that the recovery time depends on the physical condition, ranging from half a year to a month. Listen, it doesn't seem like a long time, but if you happen to get stuck in an important node and use it, especially in the background of the martial arts immortal world, hee <laughs> hee, it's really cool. Otherwise, it wouldn't sell 58 points and sometimes even be discounted. In today's low martial ancient world, the spring revival pill is indeed the most cost-effective for her. That's it. I have inventory, take it from my backpack. Today is a good day. Open a new article now, end of this chapter. Chapter 2 The Tragic Cheap Husband You are listening at NovelFull.audio The source has no content or has errors. Chapter 3 A Day of Borrowing Strength You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 A Day of Borrowing Strength, Well Done I meaningfully swept over the kneeling crowd in my spare time and said, I can't even see whose family's rice bowl I'm serving, so there's no need to eat this bowl of rice. As soon as these words were spoken, several of them collapsed to the ground and couldn't get up. That little brother. In his spare time, he looked at the cotton-robed guard guarding the door. I am Chu Wugue, I have met the queen. Take me a blank folding fold from your prince, and some ink and brush just. I'm too lazy to suggest going to a busy place like the study. I pointed directly to the stone table and stool in the corner and said, put it there. Yes. Wei didn't come back, and he didn't have to stay at the door all the time. Besides, it was empty, and there was Arhat Tower in the house. The fold was unfolded, the ink and brush were arranged, and Chu Wugue did not leave, standing on the side. In his spare time, he didn't avoid him. He picked up his pen with his left hand and slowly wrote, with each square and childlike font gradually covering half a fold. After finishing, he didn't look at Chu Wugue's shocked expression on his face. He casually slapped the fan and handed it to Jiola, saying, Tell Duan Gan Xiongfei to personally deliver it to the palace. I want him to personally deliver it to the Emperor of Zhongzhou before dark. Delying. Ah. Chu Wugue reached out to stop, but from the bottom of his heart, he opened his mouth for a while but couldn't speak, and even after reaching out for a while, he couldn't stop. Inside the house. Seeing Chi Sui spitting out a mouthful of black blood and the person slowly waking up, Dr. Jean finally took a long breath. It's so close and dangerous. Fortunately, the poison was cleared early, and after two days of cultivation, there was no obstacle. If it was delayed for a night, it would be a forced recovery, and it would never be possible to recover again. On the way here, Weibu told him about the matter of the eldest mother's obstruction, and now I think it's really frightening. If this kid falls ill, how can he stand up to his old friend who has shed blood in the northwest? After hearing Jean Lao's lament, Chi Sui looked at Wei and said he wouldn't return it. Wei Bu immediately reported everything that happened after his master fell into a coma. Please let the queen in. Yes. Chi Sui leaned against the pillow, watching the woman with a high bundle of green silk wrapped in a cloak come against the light. She was facing the sky, neither humble nor arrogant. Can't help but feel dazed, is this person in front of him really the one he saw in his wedding room a month ago? As his gaze swept over Chu Wugue's hesitant face as he followed into the room, Chi Sui bowed and said, Thank you very much to the princess today. With a few steps of leisure, she grabbed Chi Sui's wrist and stopped him, saying, Prince, you don't need to thank me. You have brought me both glory and loss. Today is all for me to live comfortably and comfortably in the future. As soon as she finished speaking, she withdrew her hand and turned to say, how is Prince's health? The poison has been cleared. After a moment of rest, I didn't expect that this person had no intention of concealing the poison from her. 
A warm expression appeared on his eyebrows, and he turned his eyes and raised his voice, saying, It seems that the mansion really needs to be cleaned up properly. The prince is poisoned today, and it's hard to say that it's me who will be poisoned tomorrow. I also don't know how Zhongzhou will explain to Bei Yan if I and the princess are poisoned and die. Is it the four provinces of Yaguan? Cough, cough, cough. Chu Wugui coughed incessantly. He thought that such words would be the most extreme on paper, but he didn't expect that such words would come from the princess with her mouth open. The prince's illness has not yet healed, and I didn't want him to work hard, but when I first came to Zhongzhou, I was not very clear about the rules of Zhongzhou. What should I do if I commit the following offenses? What about privately gathering people to fight? Chu Wugue's eyes lit up and he opened his mouth, saying, If you violate the rules, you can sell the stick for fifty times, and if you engage in private combat, you can sell the stick for thirty times. That's the case, then let's first ask the Chu guards to take notice of the people outside. Knowing that the Chu guards are busy, following up on such a small matter won't bother the Chu guards anymore. When my maid comes back, she will watch and execute it. Thank you very much, princess. To put it bluntly, it's just that other people are not willing to sell it. Even their princes have many concerns about handling it, but if we talk about this one, we really sell it. I still need to trouble this imperial physician to stay in the mansion for a few more days. In my spare time, I looked at this old imperial physician. I am on duty at the hospital, and when necessary, I am ordered not to stay in various mansions without reason. I hope the queen can forgive me. He also wanted to stay in the mansion, but not to mention that his majesty couldn't tolerate it, so the empress couldn't tolerate it the first time. It's true that my queen has been vomiting and diarrhea since she first arrived in Zhongzhou, feeling dizzy and powerless. She is afraid of water and soil and refuses to accept it. So far, only her breath has left her. If there is anything unexpected at night, it doesn't matter if I die. I'm afraid it will harm the friendship between the state and Yen. Of course, it doesn't matter if the imperial physician of Zhongzhou can't be separated to take care of me. I don't insist, but fortunately, my elder brother still stays in Zhongdu and asks him to send a message back to Bei Yen to deliver five, six, seven, or eight doctors. The salary doesn't bother Zhongzhou, so I'll pay for it myself. Wei Chen is in fear. Wei Chen is in fear. Wei Chen will send Yao Tong back to report to Shangguan and ask the queen to wait a moment. Jin Lao spoke in fear, but his heart was filled with joy. As soon as these words were spoken, who dared to stop him? If this person really has a contingency, who should bear this responsibility? Haven't you heard others eyeing the four states of Yaguan? And the act of transferring people from Bei Yen has really become a slap in the face of the Zhongzhou royal family, isn't it? Could you please hurry up, doctor? If you don't believe me tomorrow, I'll pass the message to my brother. After all, this time it will take more time, and I'm afraid my body won't be able to wait. He said, coughing twice in his spare time. Listening to Jean Lao's mouth twitching, I didn't know which one was dancing the whip in the yard just now. After this person finally returned to the main courtyard, Chi Sui looked at Chu Wugui. Before the master woke up, the queen borrowed a blank folding from the master. That was really like a sword and a sword, directly naming the five sins of the housekeeper mother rewarded by the empress. Firstly, the slave bullied the master, embezzled the queen's usage, and controlled the power of giving back. Secondly, the butler was careless, causing the prince to become unconscious. Thirdly, committing the following offenses, claiming to be the grandmothers of the queen. Fourthly, inciting a rebellion, leading a group of people to surround the front courtyard of Prince Anne's mansion in an attempt to commit misconduct. Fifthly, plotting to harm the master and obstructing the treatment of Prince Anne in order to cause his death. Afterwards, they directly abandoned the private struggles of the imperial family in the great states, such as the struggle for succession, and instead elevated it to the relationship between countries, only suspecting the goodwill of the Empress of Zhongzhou towards Northern Yen and the intention of Zhongzhou and Northern Yen to establish a friendly relationship. 
The memorial was brought into the palace by the queen dragging Duan Gan Xiongfei. This young prince, who was only 22 years old, was not only the crown prince of the Dingyan Prince's mansion in northern Yan, but also the commander of the Xuanha army in northern Yan. Your Majesty can only use servants to appease the anger of the crown prince of northern Yan, but he never dares to test the fierce and magnificent army of Ma Zhuang. With the gift handed by this young commander, Your Majesty will not treat the Empress and Second Prince lightly like before. After reporting, Chu Wugue hesitated and said, Although the princess acted recklessly, this time it is greatly advantageous to you, my lord. In recent years, in order to prevent His Majesty from being suspicious of the Pingxi army due to his outstanding performance, the Lord has excessively controlled the Pingxi army. When faced with difficulties, he can endure and retreat, and even if the mansion is riddled, he remains motionless. Now, with the presence of the Queen, he can completely clean up the mansion, and in the future, the Lord can also eat a down dot to dot earth meal. End of this chapter Chapter 4 What's Wrong with Mang? You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 What's Wrong with Mang? What's Wrong with Mang? Jean Lao rubbed his beard and laughed heartily. He broke through ten levels with all his might, much more exhilarating than the hard work you put in. He liked this kind of tough and reckless person, and just looking at it made him feel very happy. Otherwise, he wouldn't have become friends with that old man Shen. He worries about not being old enough and worrying about being young. He really owes his grandparents and grandchildren a living. Here, old Jean just felt happy. When he returned to the front yard, he only felt his stomach was empty. He thought about his weakness and ordered chicken kanji. Sue is the story of her killing people in the front yard spread to the big kitchen. The chicken kanji sent by her was fast and good. The rice was soft and glutinous, and the grains blossomed. The delicacies brought the fresh smell of chicken soup. The chicken was tender, and the mushrooms were smooth. It took her two bowls to stop eating. Master. I'm back. When I was free, I pointed to the dim sum sent by the kitchen to Jola. The bird's nest cake looked good, but she could not eat glutinous rice now. Good things, don't be blind. After enjoying himself for a long time, he sat down on the footstool holding the whole dish and said, Master, can the crown prince manage it? After all, during the northern Yen period, although they were all flesh and blood of their legitimate relatives, the crown prince only befriended the grand princess and ignored their masters, unable to say a word for a year. I can't help it. Now she represents Bei Yen. She was wronged and didn't make a scene in front of Duan Gan Xiongfei. He could naturally pretend not to know, but if it was all exposed in front of his face, what he didn't do would make Bei Yan appear afraid of Zhongzhou. She openly calculated that Duan Gan Xiongfei would use the power of Northern Yan and the power of the Xuanha army to suppress him, the emperor of Zhongzhou. So. Will the crown prince be angry? Jiola carefully glanced at his own princess. Angry makes angry, what do you have to do with me? Leisurely and lazily, he said, by the way, you can run to the front yard again later and just stare at me without taking any action. Big Mama sells sticks for fifty, and those who surround the front yard today and those who fight with you in front of the mansion will all sell sticks for thirty. If anyone shows mercy. With Bird's nest cake in her mouth, Jola couldn't even pronounce clearly, but it didn't delay her hands as she eagerly touched the whip around her waist. Lock it up and have someone else execute it. Understood. Also, before selling those people, if you go to the front yard to find Chu Wugue and say that the prince's health is not good, I want to let some people go out to accumulate blessings for the prince. I don't even know who is in the mansion. He is an old man, so please make a list for me. As long as he is good, accumulate blessings. Leisurely squinting his eyes, enjoying the beauty of the sunset. She doesn't want to live under the noses of others. As for that cheap husband, let her test it a bit. If we can cooperate, it would be best. If she were to stand in front of this cat, then don't blame her for leaving people behind. 
Princess, Dr. Jean has arrived and said he was ordered by the prince to bring you a safe pulse. It's quite a beginning and an end. All right, cover your face as much as you need. In your spare time, tidy up your clothes and sit up straight. Call in. The next morning, Chu Wugue was waiting in front of the main courtyard. When is it? The awakened leisure was lost in both eyes. It's almost time for the hour to come, Mao Shi Yu Xian closed his eyes and waited for Jiu Lu to dress, only to realize after a while. Fast Mao hour. Five o'clock fast. I originally planned to sleep until the rest of the day. Isn't it like this? The list you want. Looking at the indescribable excitement in Chu Wugue's eyes, I curled my lips in leisure time and seemed to be able to cooperate. Taking a casual glance, the corners of my mouth twitched. At least forty people are listed on this list, right? Plus, yesterday we stopped people in the front yard and took action at the entrance of the mansion. Oh my goodness, half of the mansion earns double pay. Is it so enjoyable? Last night, Empress Dowager was banned from entering Fumuan Palace. The second prince was ordered to return to the Royal Academy to study. This morning, Your Majesty's reward entered the mansion, and the master only kept medicinal herbs. The other jewelry materials, gold and silver, have been sent to you. Now they are all in the courtyard. Do you want to take a look? Also, Dr. Jean, who has been ordered by the Emperor to stay in the mansion now, has also been sent to a Song Imperial physician this morning. Dr. Song. Yu Xian squinted his eyes. Song Mingyan was appointed as the left court judge of the Imperial Hospital, and was highly trusted by the Empress Dowager De and the Grand Prince in the palace. If there was any discomfort, just look for him. Even if the Grand Prince leaves the palace and opens the mansion, he would not be able to leave. Since that's the case, how could I be such a petty thief? Jola, you personally sent the Song Court back to the Imperial Hospital. Remember to report it carefully to the Shangwan and explain clearly that it's not because the Song Court judged the medical skills to be poor, but because the Empress Dowager and the Grand Prince cannot do without the Song Court's judgment. As our younger brother and sister dot in dot law, it's not easy to rob people. In her spare time, she lazily beat Heisai and explained the situation clearly. She decided to go back and rest. When you come back, remember to register everything in the courtyard. By the way, you have to make it clear that I'm not saying that Father Emperor is such a petty thief, after all, Father Emperor is very busy every day. Of course, I don't know if the Song Court's verdict is that it belongs to Empress Dowager De and the Grand Prince. The word nutting should be conveyed to the Song Court to judge Shengwan. Chu Wugui's mouth twitched. As soon as these words were spoken, the judgment of the Song Court was considered invalid. Knowing that this person has a master, no one else would dare to believe him anymore. However, in order to avoid suspicion, the second prince of Empress Dowager De will stay away from him, which can be considered a cold bench in a sense. Can he say that he had no intention of driving people away? Or to put it another way, he never even thought about driving people away, after all, this person is a gift from the emperor. Violating that is a rebellion. But. Who wants a hole in the fence that can be tightly tied? It's just that I'm bothering the queen again. Zhongzhou is no better than Bei Yan, and women who are stronger must endure some lip and tongue swords. They are useless and cannot protect their master, so I'm sorry to trouble the queen to protect her master with her reputation. At this moment, seeing that the queen was planning to catch her sleep, Chu Wugue, who was already self-blaming, immediately left. Leisurely satisfied with Chu Wugue's sense of interest, he squinted his eyes and stared at Heisai, then touched the bed and fell asleep. When awakened by the noise in the yard, the sun had already reached midday. Princess, this is. Chi Sui looked at the person sleeping on the bed with a blushing face, and then instinctively looked out the window. The sun was overhead and said, Did you not rest last night? I'm sleepy in spring. I got up at leisure, put on my coat and led Chi Sui to Arhat's bed outside. It's the Lord, 
why did he get up today? It's not easy to cultivate for two days. It's no longer a big deal, Chi Suiwei said, knowing that his spare time was fine. He leaned on the bed and began to talk about the matter. Today, at the end of the day, I will have a daughter in my second brother's mansion. I will send a letter saying. The weather is still cold and cold, so I won't bother washing my clothes for three days. I will wait until the full moon before we can make a big deal. At that time, I will have to work hard for the queen to go with me. Wasn't it okay to procrastinate for a month? I'm afraid of being laughed at. Yes, he was ordered to study hard. He should be the first member of the royal family in Zhongzhou. Yu Xian didn't hide his smile and said, add a new daughter. Should she be the fourth princess? No, this only legitimate prince has long been a big joke in Zhongdu, not short of being ordered to study again this time. Perhaps he is aware that he is the legitimate heir and not the eldest, and his status is unstable. He is desperately trying to save his life, hoping day and night to obtain a bonus buff by giving birth to the imperial grandson. Unfortunately, heaven does not follow people's wishes, and before his death, he only gave birth to seven daughters in a row. End of this chapter Chapter 5 A Lively Day You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 A Lively Day, it's Xingxi, but her elder sister in front of her hasn't been granted a title yet. When you see her, just call out to Xiaoxi. I'll save it, but I still have to continue bothering Grandma Gu about the full moon ceremony. I'm not even good about it. It should have been me, but I actually come from Beiyan and have little knowledge of the customs and traditions of Zhongzhou. If this kind of happy event makes a joke, it's just the person who loses me. It would be my fault if it affects the reputation of the In Wang Mansion. If you go, you can't escape. Don't come to me for the preparation ceremony. The Empress's people have dismounted, and Grandma Gu, who was forced to become the front yard steward by the Grand Mammy, can start working again. Chi Sui nodded and said, It's your turn to come. It's okay to know less, read more and learn more. If Wei doesn't return it, ask Gu Mama to come to the Queen's place every day at three quarters of an hour to talk for one or two hours. My meow doesn't mean that. What else is there that is considered speechless as bargaining to gain power, compared to pushing for promotion? There's really no need to bother Grandma Gu, she's also busy. I have some skills that I always know. I've never been in contact with anything that can be replenished in one or two hours a day. Grandma Gu is in charge of things, so the prince can rest assured, and I naturally feel more at ease. He's meowing, at 3.45 in the morning, training and studying. You're here with me to stay up and watch an eagle. I never studied at this point in high school. It's not urgent at the moment, take it slow. Jola, Jola. Is the medicine prescribed by Dr. Jean well prepared? It can be said whether it should be taken before or after meals. He poked his head towards the door and called for the perfect person. In his spare time, he turned his head and looked at Chi Sui with a confused expression. What did the prince say just now? My body is also useless. I have been sick for these days. Fortunately, the prince has been thinking about calling Dr. Jean to come and take a look. I will not disappoint the prince's wishes. Take the medicine well, rest well, and recuperate well. The prince can rest assured. I'm all sick. Are you okay to call me 3.45 a.m. for training and learning? Speaking of which, Chi Sui finally believed that the person in front of him did not really want to take control of the butler's power, rather than the rude and polite refusal he had previously thought, so he stopped persuading and returned to the front yard in a short while. I breathed a sigh of relief in my spare time, and the second trial was over. I didn't treat myself like a big cake PUA that valued me so much, nor was I a tyrannical Tyrannosaurus Rex. This cheap husband looks good at the moment. As soon as it was dark, when I was eating in my spare time, I sent a small wonton with chicken soup. 
I saw Wei Bu still leading a group of people into the yard. Kowtow to the queen. Wei Tongling doesn't need to be polite, but what does the prince have to say? In his spare time, his gaze crossed the red wooden boxes and he raised his eyebrows, sending them twice a day. Is the emperor of Zhongzhou so fat? Or did my conscience finally discover it? What kind of things did he reward before? The material is precious, but it is full of dark blue, luo blue, lantern grass, oil gourd, and giant LV colors. It is estimated that the queen consorts in the palace find the colors too old to wear. Jewelry weighs a pound and a pound. A whole bunch of pure gold flower hairpins, with one pair paired with some brightly colored emerald, can be considered charming and charming. Two hairpins in the same color can be considered luxurious and luxurious. Three hairpins. That's what makes a person laugh at being poor for a long time and suddenly rich. It can be said that the intention of this reward to cope is simply without any concealment. Report to the princess, the prince has ordered my subordinates to open a warehouse and deliver these tonics, medicinal herbs, materials, and jewelry to you. Is this Qi Sui's blood? Yu Xian raised his eyebrows and said, Thank you, Commander Wei. I dare not. Wei Bu hasn't had too many pleasantries yet, rushing back and forth, leaving only a table full of open mahogany boxes. Compared to the morning ones, the quantity is more than half less, but the quality is not just a little better. Supplementing medicinal herbs are all top dot quality, including bird's nest snow clam, sea cucumber scallop, flower gum deer antler, ginseng cordyceps. All kinds of jewelry, including step sways, hairpins, bracelets, earrings, collars, and bead strings, are complete. The four sets of coral, pearl, jade, and gemstone are all exquisite. As for the material, ordinary plain gauze and brocade, as well as rare fragrant cloud gauze, woven brocade, and makeup flowers, are all perfect. I'm afraid he might have found out later that what his father rewarded was chicken ribs, so he specifically opened a warehouse to make up for it for her, right? Looking at the butterfly love flower hairpin with ruby and jade inlaid in my hand in my spare time. With an aesthetic score of 90, far exceeding the passing line, perhaps this cheap husband is also pretty good. Grandma Jing, please select a few pieces of materials and send them to the embroidery room. The style and everything will be determined by Grandma Jing. I don't even understand the prevailing regulations in Zhongzhou. What's the point? Tell Xiu Nyang to draw more pictures and follow the popular styles in the city. You can choose your clothes as you please. It's still best to have a comfortable look. Grandma's job is to make people feel at ease. I have gained your trust and dare not wait too long. Look at this emerald pattern brocade, it has a thick texture and a clear color. Nowadays, it is chilly in spring, and it is best to make a cloak. The material with snow green and scattered flowers is elegant and clean, and it can be made into a pleated skirt. When scattering flowers while walking, it can be hidden and leaked. However, the only beauty among the clusters of flowers is definitely excellent. There is also the material with lilies and honeysuckle flowers entangled in branches, which looks rich and charming. It can be made into a horse face skirt, which is perfect for wearing at palace banquets. Everyone listens to Grandma. In my spare time, I just started to have interest in listening. Seeing that Grandma Jing seemed to be getting more and more interested in her attention, I quickly stopped her. Grandma Jing also had a keen eye, so she stopped speaking and told to go to the embroidery room to deliver the materials. After that, she ordered two rough handles and Grandma carried the materials out of the door. As soon as this person left, Grandma Tsen, who had not leaned in for a few days, strode into the room and then stood by the bed, her face cold and silent. This is to express dissatisfaction. Ha! The original illness cannot be cured. You don't show up or take care of yourself, and you are all focused on fighting for power outside. Now expressing dissatisfaction, who gave you face? Leisurely suppressing the sarcasm at the corner of his mouth, he lowered his gaze without saying a word. 
why are some people so uncertain in their hearts? She didn't want to clear the ears and eyes of the person around her so quickly, after all, Duan Gan Xiongfei hasn't left yet. But these ears and eyes are so good that I have to rush forward to find a sense of existence. For a moment, the room was quiet and needles could be heard falling. Holding a medicine bowl in his hand, Jola looked left at Grand Matson and right at his own princess. As soon as he opened his mouth and wanted to break this awkwardness, he saw his own princess stand up and head towards the east side. In the blink of an eye, he took off his embroidered shoes and was about to go to bed. Jiu Lu saw this and didn't remember anything about Grand Matson, so she quickly chased after her. Angry Grand Matson kicked her foot on the pedal. Bang! Upon hearing the commotion outside, Jola's small face instantly fell down. What's up? Yu Xian sighed, why is it so difficult to get asleep these days? Jola quickly poured the medicine from the bowl into the nearby flower pot, then felt a purse from her sleeve and handed it to him, saying, Look, the woman who was unfamiliar with me last night gave it to me. Jola pursed his lips and ran away from the dark corridor, feeling a gust of wind under his feet. If it weren't for her fear of using a whip to stop people and startle the guards in the mansion, she wouldn't have let that woman escape from her hands. End of this chapter Chapter 6 Live Action Home Decoration Game You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Live Action Home Decoration Game A uh. The Red Golden Eagle, a symbol of the Northern Yen royal family, is adorned by a purse hanging around Lu Su's waist year. Round. Without looking back at his spare time, he said, Let's burn it. Then he closed his eyes and rolled over, turning his back to Jiola and saying, You should spend more time wandering around the mansion these days, getting familiar with it. If you see someone familiar, tell me. I have written it down. The next day, I slept in my spare time until a quarter past noon. I have slept soundly, even though the clouds outside are dense and gathering lower and lower, I still feel that it is extremely black and beautiful, with layers and taste in my spare time. Song Song weaves a braid and leans on the couch. A small bowl of three delicious dumplings and a small dish of Chinese tuna sprout egg cakes make him squint at leisure. Three fresh dumplings and shrimp paste are mixed with shrimp segments, and the Q-dot-shaped shrimp segments enrich the chewy taste. When filling, no overly flavored ingredients are used, fully showcasing the freshness of the taste. And Chinese tuna sprout egg cakes. The tender Chinese tuna sprouts do not lose much taste after being chopped in boiling water. Instead, they give full play to the aroma of plants. When mixed in the soft egg cakes, the soft and tender collision is perfect. In my spare time, I rubbed my stomach and looked regretfully at the bowls and plates that had been eaten clean. Actually, she thinks she can still eat some more. After dinner, I leisurely took a walk in the room to digest my food, circling around two times and three times. The more I walked, the more I looked and disliked the decoration of the room. The bed cabinets and shelves of Tai Li Mu are not only black and brown in one color, but also adorned with gold, inlaid with treasures, pasted with fritillaria, and painted with colors, all of which have declined. Where are the curtains and pillows? They are all made with a very solemn cinnabar color as the base, and the pattern is a unified large dot scale mixed gold thread of blooming wealth and honor. Placement, it's not porcelain with complex colors, but antique and heavy wood carvings, as well as gold objects embedded with treasures and beads. Staying inside, I felt extremely messy and dull. In my spare time, I called for Grandma Jing to open the warehouse and replace it. The entire set of furniture has been replaced with rosewood that is not inlaid with gold or treasures, shining with its shiny yellow color, exquisite wood carving skills, and its own light fragrance. The red persimmon colored base chosen for the tent is embroidered with a persimmon rui pattern at only one dot third of the bottom. The door curtain has been replaced with an amber-colored glass bead curtain, and the waist pillow cushion has been replaced with a jade-colored cover embroidered with scattered cloud patterns. As for the decorations. Leisurely, I have gone all the way with my preference for pure color style, 
from porcelain to jade to crystal or glass ornaments. Clear mountain blue, oriental white, apple green, lake green, hibiscus color, and pink purple are all in place, as if I can casually follow my gaze, but when placed together, they do not appear disorderly at all. I covered the incense and took out the sachet hanging on the hook. After circling around in my spare time, I replaced the gold dot plated flower bonsai inlaid with garnet and coral with a bowl of lotus, completely satisfied. I rested contentedly in my spare time here, while the others in the yard were still busy. Grandma Jing and her two little maids were moving clothes one by one into the new wardrobe on the west side, while Jola was sorting and collecting various colored jewelry in the same way on the east side. Several eunuchs and rough maids were still lifting the screens of the cabinets that had been moved out of the house into the yard, as well as sweeping and scrubbing them, without stopping their hands. It wasn't until it got dark that the yard was completely refreshed. Jola, we all reward one month's worth. Thank you, princess. Facing the excited and expectant gazes of the crowd, Yu Xian didn't wait for a moment before asking Jola to open his box and withdraw money while it was still dark. Thank you one by one, everyone. Jola said in a low voice after receiving the reward. You see, Grandmatsen's face is not very good. What do you want me to do? No effort, no gain, it's all they deserve. In my spare time, I changed into my wet and pink sleeping clothes, touched the embroidery on the cuffs and collar, and sewed small rice beads on the flower buds. I said, tomorrow, tell Grandma Jing not to make these new sleeping clothes look uncomfortable, just make them slightly looser with some size. After hearing these words, Jola pretended to let out a sigh, and his small face also pretended to be bitter, saying, Grandma Jing has to keep her ear in my ear and mutter again. Before the afternoon, Grandma Jing specifically came to find her and muttered to her, saying that she was too quiet now. Can't reveal the noble status of the queen. I almost couldn't get a cocoon out of her ear. Jill Lu pouted and said, Grandma Jing knew she was bullying me, however, it was precisely because she saw Grandma Jing's actions that she realized that many of Grandma Tsen's previous actions were not appropriate. Although Grandma Jing has ideas for such changes to the master, she will never publicly contradict the master, and her execution is not compromised. At most, she avoids people talking to her and reminds the master indirectly. If she thinks of something unexpected, it makes the master have a clear idea in her mind. And what about Grandma Sien? I always like to show my face to my master in public, and I often say in public, you must be loyal and harsh to me. When I get angry, I don't care about my master, so I just give up on him, no wonder the master wants to take over the power of Tsun Mama. Two plates of bird's nest cake. Yu Xian smiled and extended two fingers. New Ming'er will go early in the morning, Jola chuckled and shook her braid slightly, clanging. In the following days, she didn't have to socialize or worry about work in her spare time. She slept until she naturally woke up day by day. As her stomach grew stronger day by day, she also began to order dishes in various ways, eating whatever she wanted. It feels like the retirement life she has been pursuing is just like this. Now, it's just a change of place to continue retirement and it's not unacceptable. Until the day of the second prince and fourth daughter's full moon banquet. Banquets are dinners, don't waste your free time sleeping until you wake up naturally. Looking at the girl who was about to comb her hair, she immediately stopped her in her spare time and said, just comb a fallen horse bun. She picked up a peony flower hairpin with a half-palm-sized lotus stone petal and pearl as the core from the jewelry box, and a pair of lightweight pink butterfly hairpins, gesturing to use these three. Don't think of my head as a Christmas tree. As you think, whether it looks good or not doesn't matter for now, how heavy it must be. The little girl, who was restricted from playing, lowered her head and slowed down her speed by more than a star and a half compared to usual. She pursed her lips and crazily pondered how to play new tricks on the falling bun. Through the mirror, I could clearly see this action, and I was left idle. There are many rolling kings in the Anwang mansion. The girl combing her hair, Grandma Jing, and the embroidery lady in the mansion. 
Grandma Jing has a plan B in everything, and if she wants to, she can still come up with a plan C. Xiao Nyang sent over twenty versions of the material she had previously sent, and even sent along various small samples cut to the size of palms the next day. After setting the style, she finished two dresses in just three days, and the rest was ready and sent back to her hands in less than half a month. It seems that she is too lazy and lacks ambition. You finally discovered it. The system that has been blacklisted for a month is now unable to conceal its anger even with electronic sounds. His I forgot the blackout deadline for a month. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Full Moon Banquet, 1 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Full Moon Banquet, 1 What do you mean? Are you still quite regretful, it's just an ordinary regret. Yu Xian replied to the system while looking in the mirror at the improved and slightly more fairy-like fallen horse bun. Then, from the three sets of clothes sent by Grandma Jing, she chose a moonlight white cross neck jacket paired with a cherry blossom pink chest length jacket, and replaced it with a silver red entangled branch flower half arm. Tell me what you think, what a great opportunity. Lo Su sent a wallet to appease you. You didn't take the opportunity to communicate with Lo Su, but instead had someone burn the wallet. I don't have the habit of wasting time with garbage. What kind of garbage? That's the male lead male lead. Are you talking about sending your first love to a marriage, using a stunt double as a symbol of deep affection, using your first love as a shield to pretend to be a playboy, causing your first love to become infamous, and ultimately personally strangling the scumbag of your first love, he is the male lead. Oh. Leisurely rolled his eyes. Duan Gan's spare time wish is to become the queen in rebellion. It seems that this path doesn't make sense, and the system intelligently takes a detour. What's good about being a queen? Do I feel comfortable now is the key point comfortable. It's the host's wish, but my focus is on comfort, comfortable and comfortable. Enjoy your temporary comfort. I'll see how comfortable you are when King and dies. Give it a try after two days like that, I don't believe you will endure not attacking the male lead the sharp electronic sound was accompanied by a burst of anger and exhaustion. After a moment of leisure, I quickly regained my senses. I pinched a bit and estimated that ten minutes would be enough, so I directly blocked a dragon. Without the annoying electronic music, I can't find the carefree moments of the past two days in my spare time. Regardless of the side, there is one thing that the system is not wrong about. The fact that her cheap husband will die early is really a problem. In the afternoon, leisurely meeting Qi Sui in front of the two gates, a pair of eyes would occasionally turn twice towards Qi Sui. But the two of them were able to hold their composure and roll their wheels until they reached the residence of the second prince, and no one spoke. Compared to the square and orderly layout of Prince N's mansion, the second prince's mansion features rockeries, flowing water, small bridges, pavilions, and numerous peach blossoms. The little girl led the way to a peach forest, where peach blossoms were piled up and the winding water murmured. From a distance, one can hear gongs already playing on the stage, and as one approaches, one can see many people standing on the high platforms in both the north and south. On the north high platform, a pair of men and women dressed in bright red were surrounded by a crowd, as if they were about to get married. There are no scarves at the entrance, no festive decorations along the way, and the stage for the full moon banquet is open. Choosing an outdoor stage banquet for guests, the second prince really doesn't hide his lack of care for his daughter. After going up to the second floor and taking off her cloak in her spare time, she handed it to the waiting maid. She saw the second princess with emerald hair, her eyebrows raised high. Although she was facing her, her eyes glanced towards the fourth princess not far away and said, third brother, third brother, and third sister are here. I said the fourth brother and sister are already beautiful, but I didn't want to see them today to know what it means to have someone outside the world and heaven outside the world. That's all for this divine princess and fairy. Today is rare, I can make your second sister dot in dot law slap herself. 
The Grand Princess naturally knew why the second wife's intentional pulling and stomping was so intentional. Knowing that the fourth family has a unique personality and is eager to compete with others, what kind of good words can be seen in the fourth family's mouth when these words are spoken? When the farce of the fourth and third families is passed down one by one tomorrow, won't we forget about the Empress being banned from studying in the second and being ordered to return to the academy? Ha! Does she just want to divert her attention with this little skill? Ugly to be born, pretty to think of. The second wife has always been disrespectful to her elder brother through her legitimate appearance, and she, as the second princess, also competes with her sister. In law everywhere. Now that she has finally won a joke, how could it end like this in just a few days? Thinking of this, the grand princess took a few steps forward and grabbed Yuxian's hand, her posture extremely affectionate, saying, but it's not bad for my younger siblings. Who would have thought that this woman from Beiyuan could have such a fair and delicate skin, a curvaceous appearance, and a graceful figure? Even the second younger brother and sister are too straightforward. What kind of barbarian rough woman must be five big and three rough, as strong as a mountain, and as black as coal? Ha 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 tell me, how can these words describe a girl's family? My second younger brother and sister can't talk like this again in the future but ultimately, it's a family of flesh and blood. The third younger brother and sister should give sister dot in dot law face today, and let her go for a while. If she bullies you again next time, just come find sister.in.law, sister.in.law will help you teach her a lesson a whole family needs to be neat and tidy. The empress is forbidden to walk, and the second lady is ordered to study. You, the second princess, should also be neat and tidy. Why do we need a reprimand to be considered appropriate she seemed to have seen the well.known scene of the second family's word spreading, and laughed out loud. As the grand princess burst into laughter, the room felt as if her head had been raised, one after another laughing, and one could vaguely hear someone deliberately repeating the mocking words of the barbarian rough woman, five big and three rough, and black like coal in a strange way. The third princess, who was already afraid to compare her to the barbarian women she had always looked down upon in her second family, heard mockery and even though she was coming towards her or not, she directly lowered her face and said, talking about women's beauty rather than talent is the family tradition of Jiang Taifu. However, it is not surprising, after all, Jiang Taifu has not been easy since he came from the rural gate, and it is common for him to not consider the upbringing of the women in the family. You. The second princess's face turned red with embarrassment and anger. However, if it weren't for her background in the Huaihua Gu family, how could she marry the royal family with Gu Wenxin? the daughter of a first-class grand tutor, just because of her pedantic and useless old man. Although she hated Gu Wenxin to the extreme in her heart, she knew that she couldn't continue arguing with such words, otherwise it would be her father's idle talk that covered up her prince's orders to study tomorrow. Her father can't bear to talk about his old farming background. It's hard to say that the lackeys of those aristocratic families will still move forward and slander the emperor, saying that her father and even the second prince are not strict in governing the family. Thinking of this, she seemed to have already seen her father's anger and the cold eyes of the second prince. No, no, absolutely no. This is demolishing the east wall to make up for the west wall. During her contemplation, the second princess caught sight of Prince N and her eyes lit up, saying, I just saw third brother staring straight at third sister and jokingly saying, it's worth being like fourth sister with such sharp tongues. Third younger brother is still young, and it's not uncommon for him to be blinded by women for a while. Why do you have to speak up and make third younger brother unable to wipe his face? The usually gentle and kind second prince looked at his caring elder brother who was completely protecting his brother and training his wife. At a young age, it would be better to be sensible in four or five years, said the eldest prince. He is a non-legitimate elder brother. Watching his younger brothers stand up in the court one by one, with various forces behind him, how can he not be alarmed? If we could take advantage of this opportunity and not only cut off the father's desire to give the third son a job, even if it's just a drag. All are good. End of this chapter.
Chapter 8 Full Moon Banquet 2 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Full Moon Banquet 2 The Leisure Time, Constantly Mocked, Neither Shed Tears with Shy Eyes Nor Blushed with Distressed Cheeks, Like a Bystander Standing Aside. She looked at Nguan, who was infatuated with women and ignorant. He was even more calm and composed than her, as if he had not understood or heard anything. And his attendant, on the other hand, was a good hand at swallowing his anger. The cat was beside him, with a very low sense of presence and no fluctuation in breath. It's really a win-dot-win -win situation. It looks very familiar. Once, she was also a good patient. As for now, she just needs to follow her heart. Never let yourself be wronged again. Leisurely, he took out his hand held by the Grand Princess and sneered, When I was in Northern Yen, I used to hear vendors coming and going from south to north saying that Zhongzhou was both powerful, but I never had the opportunity to see it. I didn't expect to have the privilege of seeing the first dot class strength of Zhongzhou just after getting married. When it comes to verbal skills, big brother, big sister-in-law, second brother, and second sister-in-law are really important. Unlike me, I am also stronger in horseback riding and archery, and my mouth is very clumsy. I'm afraid there will be some who need to consult with a few siblings in the future. You. Even the second prince, who has always had a smiling face, can no longer put on a smiling face despite being labeled as the first to speak out. Without giving the second prince a chance to speak in his spare time, he continued, however, I don't know that the rules of Zhongzhou are so different from those of Northern Yen. How could the royal selection of women choose women who are five big and three rough, as strong as mountains, and as black as coal? Dot. Stop talking nonsense. The fourth princess had a cold and solemn face. She had always relied on her own talent and appearance, and wherever she heard this, she didn't even glance at her leisure time. She only said, the selection of women by the royal family in Zhongzhou has always prioritized moral character and talent. Well, then how could you say that I am as big as five or three rough, as strong as a mountain, and as black as coal? I am also very puzzled. Aren't I bestowed upon me by the emperor of Zhongzhou as the prince of marriage and peace? Or is it that the emperor of Zhongzhou was biased and even though he knew I was so unbearable, he still asked his son to swallow his pride and marry me. The room was completely silent. It's just the truth, but who dares to respond? One by one, they spoke hard, but they all knew in their hearts that Zhongzhou was no longer the same as before. In the past, Zhongzhou was revered for its vast territory, abundant resources, and abundant food. Even though it was surrounded by other four countries in the center, it was only the hostile neighbor of the western desert that occasionally disturbed the border. Nanua Mountain was sparsely populated and self-sufficient, and the rest of the two countries, Dongyu Island, had a small land and many people. The nomadic tribes of northern Yen each had their own thoughts, and they had to seek help from Zhongzhou every year. Therefore, the two countries directly honored Zhongzhou as their father country. But now, Zhongzhou has been surrounded by wolves. To the north, there are people from the northern Yan tribe with strong horses. To the west, there is constant warfare in the western desert. To the east, it is separated from Dongyu Island, which is known for its fierce water warfare. To the south, there are fewer foreign tribes traveling, but the mountains of Nanyue are steep and full of malaria. Who knows if there is anyone who is eager to gaze at the vast and abundant Zhongzhou. In the current situation, Zhongzhou is absolutely afraid to engage in military action with Northern Yen, otherwise the sick tiger will be split into a group of wolves. Therefore, he took the initiative to write a national letter in order to maintain the temporary stability of the state in Yen by forming a friendship with Northern Yen, Qin and Jin. Leisurely looking around the stiff crowd, he couldn't help but sneer in his heart. Coming to the door to seek peace, then turning around and provoking, as if this can maintain the face of our motherland, ah. Uh. Who gave you your face? And barbarians. Is this the way the royal family of Zhongzhou refers to Northern Yen? 
Perhaps it's because I didn't speak well in Zhongzhou, so I must ask for advice when I enter the palace. Still Jiola, remember to remind me tomorrow that it's important to ask my elder brother if the gentleman I invited earlier didn't understand the book. What should I do? If one, two, three, or four of them heard Zhou Yan's goodness, should they? What did that sentence say? To die is to thank the world. I think with the speed of my elder brother, he should be able to catch up with me before he returns to Beiyan. Yes. As soon as these words fell, the whole room fell silent, unable to even hear the sound of breathing. The fourth prince was born prematurely and weak. At this moment, he felt his throat dry and itchy because he had grown a little longer while standing. After hearing this, he couldn't help but cough continuously. A hoarse and muffled cough, as if it were a chaotic drum, making people feel flustered and chest tightness. The Grand Princess pinched her handkerchief and stared eagerly at the Grand Prince, tightly pursing her lips and not daring to speak again. She only felt that her clothes on the back were soaked in cold sweat. Although the person in front of her smiled so kindly, she felt as if she had seen a venomous snake lurking in the grass waiting for an opportunity to move, which made people feel cold in their hearts. The long dot awaited prince only felt an itch in his teeth, it was really that he had not eaten a bite of lamb and was still covered in fishy smell. But he really can't carry this hat. The eldest prince suppressed his anger and said slowly, My third younger brother and sister have just married. I don't know if the female family likes to have fun and laugh with each other. When we get to know each other for a long time in the future, we will understand. It's a joke, why take it seriously? Oh. Are you joking? But I don't think it's funny. Perhaps it's because I'm a barbarian woman. Why don't I ask the emperor for advice tomorrow and see where the joke is today? Are you joking? Ha. The curve at the corner of my idle mouth became even more pronounced, and my posture became more relaxed. I even found a seat to sit down. Third brother, you also have a word. The eldest prince's face turned cold as he was repeatedly threatened by a woman. Oh, what should I ask my prince to do? Didn't he say he was young and blinded by women? Where else can he say anything? At this point, who doesn't understand that princess and is not a soft-tempered person? Where is she not sure what barbarians mean? Even the machine they just played could be heard clearly. The second prince has always been smooth, and when he saw that things had come to an end, he immediately made a choice. I just heard that the third brother is fond of horseback riding and archery. A few days ago, the second brother happened to have twelve good horses, all of which are good horses from the southern forest. If the third brother and the second brother were to look up to, there would be no exception. Seeing someone bowing their head, in their spare time, they straightened their clothes and stood up, looking straight at the second princess. The long black eyelashes of crows flickered and flickered, as if they were pure and cute with childishness under the flickering dim candlelight. But now, no one believes that there is only purity and cuteness in the head. Second sister. In. Law. Did my prince really stare at me straight? Chi Sui took a breath as he stepped on his eyelids and looked up at the small figure blocking in front of him. For a moment, he felt a vague feeling that the small one seemed to have a sky grabbing aura. Drunk and intoxicated, it's my fault for eating and talking nonsense. The two princesses were already threatened and panicked, but seeing their prince first speak up and back down, they knew that they would be sad after the banquet ended. At this moment, they were both afraid and worried about how to please the prince. How could they be distracted and have any more thoughts? Third younger brother and sister. In. Law, I hope you can forgive me. As the words fell, the second prince bowed his hand. Even if he didn't want to endure it, he had to endure it. The eldest prince suppressed the flames and said, I will be with my three siblings when I return to Wushan in the southern suburbs of Zhongdu. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 Was stuffed into a sieve again. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 9 Was stuffed into a sieve again. Back to Wushan. Yu Xian's eyes lit up, 
but as he opened his eyes, he was overjoyed and said with a smile, although I'm not afraid of trouble, I'm not someone who likes to cause trouble. Since my older brother and younger brother both say it's their own laughter, then I'll take it as my own laughter. The second prince pressed his lips, saying that he was right. He said she didn't like to cause trouble, but who likes to cause trouble? And now it's said that if it's just a joke, she can just laugh and make fun of it. If there is an imperial censor tomorrow who takes this matter seriously and criticizes Lao San, she will definitely not be afraid to take such a sophistry and go to the palace to accuse her father and even spread the message to Northern Yen. How could such a smart, clever, and beautiful woman call Lao San by Dabaida? The second prince glanced at the second princess beside him and felt even more resentful. He is surrounded by such fools who have caused trouble and still need him to deal with them. How unfair the heavens are! Jola, send the message back and ask someone to quickly tidy up the stable, but we must not delay the twelve good horses sent by second brother from entering the mansion tomorrow. The second prince choked, he didn't mean to give it all. Nanlin Liangju, a precious horse. Moreover, this is the stallion he deliberately found and obtained. But now, it's not easy to say that. After all, the old man gave a mountain as a gift. Although it's a barren mountain, it's close to the central capital, so it's definitely worth repairing and repairing. Next, the banquet couldn't find any more excitement, and the process went very fast. Before the sun set, the banquet broke up. Yu Xian left with everyone and got on the carriage, looking at Prince and beside him without asking much. He just smiled and said, Your brothers are quite wealthy. Qi Sui didn't expect that the first sentence Yu Xian said to him would be like this. He guessed that he would probably ask why he didn't protect her. In terms of attitude, it's uncertain. Perhaps it's a coquettish complaint or grievance. Perhaps it's a shameful affectation. Perhaps it's angry sarcasm. However, it doesn't matter if he guessed wrong. He still said truthfully, it's not bad for money. I'm not polite, then. Yu Xian smiled brightly, looking forward. He suddenly saw the scene of the person grinding their knives and rushing towards the fat sheep in front of him. Chi Suiren couldn't help but say, you don't need to be polite. Leisurely nodded, expressing satisfaction with reaching a consensus once again. You can pretend to be you, but you can't ask me to swallow my pride with you, right? Within two days after the full moon banquet, Chi Sui was assigned a job at the supervision department, leaving early and returning late every day. This tiger is not here, and in his spare time, he is the first person in the Anwang mansion. He sleeps until he wakes up naturally every day, enjoys delicious food non-stop, and lives quietly and quietly. Apart from enduring ten minutes of electronic noise every month, it can be said that he should not be too happy in his childhood. Soon spring will pass and summer will come. Looking at the newly cut summer clothes and dresses in front of me, I finally realized. Is this summer? No she seems to have worn all the clothes she had prepared for the spring outing banquet before. Isn't it said that there are various banquets in spring? Do we only have one shift per quarter? Then she is quite capable. However, this question lingered in her mind for less than thirty seconds before being pushed away by the food box that Jola carried into the house. The hot ox-eyed buns took a big sip of soup from the vortex of ox-eyed buns, then swallowed the whole bun in a big gulp, and in a short while, eliminated the whole plate. Seeing his master holding fruit tea to clear his mouth and digest his food, Jola took two steps and turned his back towards the door. He skillfully touched something from his sleeve and handed it to his master under his own body's cover. Yu Xian looked at the familiar red gold eagle purse and felt that he was about to lose his temper. How many times this month is it? In his spare time, he pinched his wallet and said, Who? This time he's a newcomer, the groom of the stable. Ha! The sweeping nanny in the front yard, the gardener eunuch in the small garden, the gatekeeper in the martial arts arena, the laundry girl in the laundry room, now there's another stable groom. 
Even if there are more new recruits to fill the vacancies in the mansion, there shouldn't be so much attention to detail from the Northern Yen. Moreover, she still has self. Awareness. How could Lo Su expose these delicate works that were finally inserted into the royal family of Zhongzhou for her sake? After stepping on her eyelids for a while, Yu Xian said, Keep an eye on Grandma Xian. Jiola was taken aback for a moment, and instinctively grabbed the whip on his side. His nails clenched and he said, If she dares to betray her master, I will personally send her to see the wolf god. Don't act recklessly. Yes. Five days later, Jola presented the purse in his sleeve with an iron blue face. It's Mrs. Zhang from the second gate. Her little grandson had a high fever that didn't subside the day before yesterday, and Grand Matson brought medicine to him. Nu, who was familiar with those people earlier, inquired about Lu Posey's eldest son who was trampled on by an unknown young master on horseback and broke his leg. It is said that he has recovered well now. The only son of the gardener Lu Yunik's brother, who is thirty years old, has not married. Half a month ago, he suddenly married a beautiful girl who is fifteen. The gatekeeper Zhao Posey's maternal brothers are willing to gamble, saying that he was only cut off and hit half a month ago. Two days ago, someone saw him on the street again, and there was also area at the clothes washing place. The three older brothers above him even married within a month. Are there any connections? No one has ever seen anything from Eunuch Lu and Arya, but some have seen Lu Posey send her homemade leather to Tsin Mama a month ago. As for Zhao Posey, some have seen her make shoes day and night. Although no one has personally seen her send them to Tsin Mama, some have recognized that the shoes Tsin Mama has been wearing for a while are Zhao Posey's craft. Leisurely looking at the purse on the table, tapping lightly with the index finger. Since you are rushing to jump, no wonder I am. You stay inside and wait for Grandmatsen to appear, then take this purse and rush out. As soon as Jola came out in a fit of anger, she was stopped by Tsin Mama and said, What's wrong with this? Second princess said about you. I don't know which black-hearted and liver-minded person was chewing his tongue in front of second princess, telling her to be far away. Now even you are far away. Sai the people of Zhongzhou have many malicious methods. Second princess doesn't believe us anymore and doesn't want us to be around to serve. What if we are deceived and bullied by those black-hearted and liver-minded people? As she spoke, Sin Mama glanced at the crumpled purse in Jola's hand at the end of her eyes and said to herself, that's all for now. If we follow the rules of Northern Yen, that person's identity would be a sin slave, a pleasure in the hunting ground, and a life of no future. The crown prince will definitely not really take it to heart. Why is second princess so angry about such a thing until now? Upon hearing this, there was almost no difference from what the master had expected. Jola's heart was cold, and he truly was this old thing. There is no need to act aggressively when speaking. The crown prince of northern Yen has taken a concubine, who is a guilty woman from Zhongzhou. It sounds like a diaphragm, but the crown prince is willing, and we don't have much to say. Anyway, she won't be in front of us in the future. What's wrong with the crown princess? You little hoof, you have become more and more ignorant by the second princess. Even if you get angry, you dare to attack me. Even if I don't know anything, I came from the queen's place. It was the queen's dowry to the second princess. Do you believe me? If you send me a letter, your mother will never have a good day again. End of this chapter Chapter 10 Lower Set You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 Lower Set You Me How am I? Tsin Mama said as she snatched the purse from Jola's hand and sneered, If you dare to hold this red golden eagle's purse and show it around the market, I can sue back to Beiyan. Who's going to go overboard? I clearly burned this thing at the behest of the queen. Give it back to me quickly. Jola stretched out his arm to grab it, but clumsily couldn't find it. Seeing that this girl was so useless, Grandmatsen became even more arrogant. She stretched out her arm and pushed Jola around, saying, Burn it. 
Ha! Who believes it? Where did you burn it in the daytime? You're not carrying someone on your back. It's hard to say that you stole this wallet from somewhere and now you don't know what to do. I'll go report it to Second Princess. Go. Go. You go report to the master. Humph. Leisure is lazily nestled on the couch, half closing my eyes. I saw these two people coming in while tearing them apart. Listening to Tsun Mama's sharp voice, in her spare time, she could only feel her temples bouncing and bouncing. Suddenly, looking at Tsun Mama holding a purse. She seemed to have seen this scene somewhere before, where? Ah! She remembered. The original body finally settled down and had an affair with Lo Su because of this purse, which was personally reported by the original body's dowry mother as a red gold eagle purse. How could you ask such a troublesome little girl to do such a thing? If someone looks at her and says she won't even invite her with ten thousand mouths, you can rest assured to hand it over to the slave. The slave knows how to do it. After all, before leaving, the queen died. Even if the old life of the slave was abandoned, she will definitely protect you. As she spoke, Grandmatsen's eyes turned red, with a look of being truly willing to die generously. It's really disgusting to look at it. The four words generously go to death, have been defiled. Mama, are you going to burn this purse for Jola? Her idle voice was low and drowsy, with a hint of drowsiness. It's really a serious matter. I can't trust this servant girl. I'm afraid I might betray the queen's orders, and you know it best. I've been serving the queen since I was young, and I accompanied her on her wedding from the southern forest department. Over the years, I have been careful and careful around the queen, not daring to slack off at all. That's why I gained the queen's trust and was ordered to accompany you on your wedding. If I relax my guard for a while and cause you harm, the queen will be sad, and I will die a thousand times. In my spare time, I half closed my eyebrows and eyes, concealing the coldness within. Even the old slaves around the couple could see that they had been focusing on their true selves for many years, and they had accurately grasped their true selves the dead end, held tightly, is called precision. Unfortunately, she is not her original self and has been persistently attached to the love of her parents by PUA. Now, she knows the old story and has been burdened with blood feuds and weaknesses. Oh, the poison of bone decay is right. As soon as I opened my eyes, my spare time changed to a state of helplessness. I propped myself up and sat up, with a tone that was no longer a bit hazy. I said weakly, how dare you make my mother sad. I'll just trouble my mother to burn this thing. Hey don't worry, I'll hand it over to you. Tsun Mama glanced smugly for a long time, then turned around and forcefully bumped her shoulder into Jola before leaving the room with her head raised. Master. Jola saw the person leave the room and put down her hand that was covering her arm. She casually patted her clothes twice and looked at her own master. The master shed his previous confusion and weakness, leaned back, and although her casual and lazy posture was indescribable, it left her mouth speechless with resentment. When you go to the big kitchen yourself, you say I want to use a bowl of brown rice porridge, and then ask Mammy Jing to go to the embroidery room to see how my pillowcase is made. Yes, Jola responded and quickly left. The index finger of my left hand, resting on the edge of the bed, moved slightly and tapped silently. The opportunity is given to you, you must seize it. Seeing that Jola and Jing Mama had left the yard one after another, Shua Mama immediately quietly entered the room and looked into the east side room. Seeing someone lying peacefully with their back to her, she quickly turned around and walked around the west side room, opened the suitcase in the corner, and took out a wooden box. As soon as Yu Xian felt the stealthy gaze disappear, he quietly got up and walked around to the west side, where he saw Shua Mama putting the red golden eagle's purse into a wooden box. Ha! She thought that putting in a nanny before getting married was just an eye and mouth for conveying messages, but she didn't expect this Shwamama to have so much freedom. She could do such a terrible thing at will, so she couldn't continue to stay by her side. With this in mind, Yu Xian immediately spoke up and said, 
what is grandma doing? The voice is clear and carries a chill. Mama's movements froze as she turned around and put on a face that was extremely concerned. Why don't second princess sleep a little longer? That's it. Oh my. Why did you come out with your hair down? Where did this hair combing girl go to be lazy? The servants of Prince N's mansion, even the old slaves can't control it. It's still the old slaves who serve you in dressing. The rules in this Zhongzhou are very strict. You must be meticulous in every aspect and not embarrass our princes and concubines. Look at me, as I get older, I have more words to say. Don't worry about me. Before leaving, I received countless warnings from the queen. Now I really dare not make any mistakes, even if I keep you strict. But my heart is the same as that of the prince and queen, hoping that you can live well anywhere. I don't know if I should take grandma's word seriously, Yu Xian stood lazily with a smile at the corner of his mouth. If grandma really hopes for me to live well, how dare she put this dirty and smelly thing into the betrothal gift sent by Prince and of Zhongzhou. Do you know how many lives to fill in if someone sees me? How can I bear that karma? Upon hearing these words, Grandma Zhuo opened her mouth and began to talk about him from both sides. Yu Xian bluntly said, Auntie has always been very strict in governing the government, but unexpectedly, she still had the meticulous work of the Northern Capital Department touch her side. Where are you talking about? The old servant is someone who married with the queen. If it weren't for his clean background, how could the queen have sent the servant to your side? Your words are not only gouging out the servant's heart, but also hurting the queen's heart. It's quite shrewd. Knowing that one cares about their parents, even in a state of panic, what is bound is still called precision. However, the speed that Zhuo Mama denied on her lips, but look at the fingertips tightly gripping her purse, and completely forgetting the calm and composed state that Guzwa had previously said about him, how could it not be that there was a ghost in her heart? Yu Xian then looked at the person in front of him seriously, but he didn't expect that the excuse she casually brought up was mistakenly correct. This Chuo Mama is the person her mother consort brought with her when she got married from the Southern Forest tribe. If it is the meticulous work of the Northern Capital Department from beginning to end, it fully demonstrates the long dot standing ambition and planning of the Northern Capital Department. If someone is later bribed, oh, even close friends like this can be bribed, which shows the ambition of the Northern Capital Department at no cost. So Chua Mama felt uneasy in her heart, hesitating whether to fool her again. When she saw Princess Eyre's red lips slightly open, she let out a loud cry. Someone. Second Princess. The Queen. There are North Metropolitan assassins inside the house. End of this chapter.